All right, guys, welcome back to the channel here. Today's video for the Boss GT1000 Core, I have once again loaded up the Boss Tone Studio. And in this particular case, we're going to take a look at the Librarian tab over here. And the Librarian tab is basically the same in the overall context as you might have known from the GT1 or GT100. Um, it is here where you can create your own live sets. You can take patches from the GT1000 core, which you have created yourself, load them in here, and you can basically either import external patches or the live sets you have created here, if you wish to share them, you can export those to different files or even just one big file. And that just makes it easier for exporting this and for others to load them in or vice versa if you have downloaded anything from the internet. So the way that we do this is that we have our create live set tab up here. So if we press that, we can name our live set. I'm just going to name it right here. And now it's up here. And if we press the edit, we just have the option of either deleting or uh, finishing the name or changing it here. But let's say that we have a few patches here. So the way that you do this is just simply by pressing and dragging them over. And it will say importing which basically means that it's just going to transfer them from the user section on the GT1000 core over to your created live set here. And um, let's just do this one and the next one here so that we in total will have um, three patches in this particular live set here. Once those are set in here, we are basically good to go. We're going to the right hand corner over here and you'll see the first tab here, which is the import. And this right here, for example, if, is if you want to import something from the GT1000 core. And it could also be if you wanted to import an external file coming from something that you have downloaded on one of the web pages. So this is the import tab here. Next to it, we have the export and here we have a nice option. So if you've created multiple live sets here, you will be able to choose between them from the drop down menu here. And once you select a live set here, you can decide whether you want to export it to the GT1000 core itself, or whether you want to export it to your computer, making it a file that you can upload and share with fellow users. Um, and just a neat way to share your patches. Um, and we see a lot of people doing that on the Facebook groups, for example, and it's just a great way of being able to both help out uh, other users or if somebody is struggling with putting together a great uh, sounding patch, for example. But this is the overall layout and look of it, and it's just as simple as dragging and dropping. You don't have to do any more than that. And the two symbols up here on the right hand corner, they are pretty clear. So. Once you select your location, either a file or your GT1000 core, you will go from there and select whether you want to import or export. And that is the basic operation of the librarian here. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And if you do have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section and I'll be happy to get back to you. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.